What's up YouTube? It's me Rashad and today I'm going to show you guys how to breathe properly when running. A lot of you guys have been hitting me up asking me what's the proper way to breathe when you're running and so today I'm going to explain this to you guys. But not only am I going to explain this to you guys, I'm going to give you an exercise that will help you understand how to do this. After you do this exercise, you're going to know exactly how to breathe when running. Hit the like button, subscribe. I'm Rashad. You guys are royalty. Without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, you guys, the proper way to breathe when running, it's very simple. You breathe through your mouth. You could breathe through your nose as well, right? If your nose wants to help your mouth breathe, then let it join the party. Let's go over a quick exercise right now. This isn't the exercise that's gonna give you the epiphany that's gonna help you understand how to breathe when running, but this exercise will help you understand a little bit. Even if you're on your phone or you're sitting at your computer, just breathe through your nose. Close your mouth and breathe through your nose. I'm gonna do it with you guys. Do you feel it? Okay, now only breathe through your mouth. Right there where you at, right on your phone or your computer screen, breathe through your mouth. Do you feel the difference? The next thing I want you guys to do is breathe through your mouth and your nose, okay? Yeah. It's kind of weird, right? If you're trying to breathe at the same time. I know you guys might be wondering, like you just said, if your nose wants to help your mouth breathe while you're running, then let it. Well, yeah, but you don't want to be trying to breathe simultaneously, okay, through your mouth and nose. The exercise that I'm going to demonstrate is going to help you guys understand this. This exercise right here alone will show you how to breathe properly, okay? Now, what I'm about to do is basically just one lap. And I need you to do this too. If at the end of this video, you don't understand just by the verbal explanation on how to breathe properly, this exercise will show you, okay, how to breathe properly. Without further ado, just one lap, you guys. Let's do it right now. Make sure you warm up before you do this. Don't just come out on the track one day, but like Rashad said, just do this exercise to learn how to breathe properly. No, warm up before you do any type of running like this, okay? I already warmed up, you guys. Let's do it. I'm gonna start from right here, you guys. What I want you guys to know and understand is that breathing is a bodily function that you have only a limited amount of control over. For the most part, breathing is controlled by your body's automatic nervous system. If you feel like you're not breathing right, you should go out and do this exercise. While you are running, your body is trying to inhale as much oxygen as it can so they can provide your muscles enough energy. On a normal day, when we are resting, we normally only breathe through our nose. However, when we run and our heart rate is increased, it's more efficient for us to use both our nose and our mouth together. I'm not saying you have to breathe in through your mouth and out through your nose at the same time, but I'm just saying it's optimal for your nose and mouth to work together to inhale and exhale. You know what I mean? Two holes to breathe in and out of is better than just one. I know it all sounds complicated, but you don't have to think about it that much. Breathing is controlled by your automatic nervous system, okay? So just let your body do the breathing and you do the running. I just finished running that 400 meter dash. Now, I want you guys to do that same thing. After you finish running that 400 meter dash, you're not gonna be able to control your breathing. And you're gonna just take, a time, take the time to understand and, and just see how you're breathing while you're not thinking about, oh, how should I be breathing? You see what I mean? Oh, I need to regroup myself, you guys, so I can explain this to you guys. Now, at the end of that workout, you're gonna feel yourself breathing heavy. Now when you're breathing, catch yourself at the end of that 400 and use your brain. Instead of thinking about, oh, I'm tired, just for a second, become conscious and then think about how your body is breathing when you're not in control and you're not, you can't really think about it and control it. You see what I mean? So just come through mentally and see how you're breathing and then take notes, okay? Take mental notes like, oh, my body's breathing like this right now when I'm tired and I can't think about it. And then you'll see the most efficient way to breathe, okay? To get the most oxygen. Because when you finish that 400 meter dash, your body is gonna be trying to breathe to get more oxygen to the muscles. So that's just the most efficient way. Now I'm not saying breathe heavy like that when you're running, control your breathing, but just take note of the technique. Just take notes on the technique that your body is using, okay? I'm not saying sit there and breathe hard while you're running, like you just finished a 400 in the middle of a run. I'm just saying, the way that your body is breathing, how it's breathing through the mouth, and then how the nose is coming in to help, basically make sure you understand that and then 
do it just like that in an efficient way while you're running. And that is how you breathe properly when running. I'm tired right now, you guys. More running videos coming soon. Hit the like button, leave a comment down below. If you got a video idea that you want me to make, just leave it down there if it's a good idea. And my next running video is about 400 meter dash. So um, yeah, you guys, see you guys on the next video.